Yeah, buddies. It's the Bennington Show, the only father-daughter radio show in the history of radio. I'm Gail Bennington. I'm Ron Bennington, and I've never seen Vito as angry as he was this morning. Vito is in a mood. Yeah. Nothing is going his way. He's like the Charlie Brown of this show today. Um, I guess. I don't know. I've never seen Charlie Brown ready to punch anybody before, though. <laughs> yeah, he e- should have. Everybody's got you angry, Vito? Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I feel like there's people who have a certain job to do every day, and every day there's just some fucking issue with it. So, it, Are you talking about me? No, no. <laughs> Is, then it's me no, or it's Chris? Neither of you. It has to be me. It's I not Chris. say a lot of bad things about you and your mom. Earl, I don't know why you couldn't just set up the same spot you set up every day. Send Earl in. I want to make sure he's okay. Because you guys, I'm going to say this. Sometimes I wonder that everybody's picking on Earl. I don't want that. The only thing he can do is lie his way out of it. He loves <laughs> he loves that part of it. Oh, no, I don't just know how you're mad because you didn't have to do shit today. Earl just threw his hat. I've never even seen him do that. Okay. So every time I started to set up something, you told me to get out the way. So I got out the way. And then you yelled at me for not Earl, being in the Earl, way. Earl, we said set up the laptop. Did you set up the laptop? No, 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 you didn't. Did you set up the monitor or did I have to figure it out? It took me five seconds to figure it out. I heard you say it was unplugged. It was unplugged. Yeah, but I didn't see that. And I didn't, well, how long were you something kidding wrong? Can how I long? just tell you something? And I pointed out there was something wrong and I didn't know what was wrong. So I pointed it out there was something wrong. I did not know what was wrong. Vito, I remember Nirvana was unplugged and everybody fucking loved that. <laughs> Good point. You know what I mean? And when I first saw it, I thought it stunk, but as the years went by <laughs> and I heard other people's accolades. <laughs> Was that what you're doing in Unplugged? You feel like you were being picked on, Earl? No, I'm just, I'm trying. I'm trying not to lose my head. I'm trying to keep my calm. I'm trying, to, I'm trying. I I'm really, really, really trying. Is it and difficult when there's unprofessional people all around you? Not, they were not unprofessional. They were not. I will say they were not unprofessional, but I'm just saying. It, there's a point where you gotta you gotta keep your head and you gotta remain calm and you gotta stay cool. You want to be surprised about something? Do you know that they had a problem with you last night? No. Oh, and this is the other thing. They always say I have. Pro- they bring up the problem. Not at that moment. They wait. Uh. They wait until they get on the air because they're trying to have show content. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. you're right. From you know, from a production point of view, that doesn't work. Yeah. What do you think that uh, c- possibly they could have had a I beef have no with? Idea. I, they asked me to run an errand last night. I ran it. Yeah. Um, I came back. They asked me to take photos. I took them. Yeah. And that was about it. And I don't uh, know what else they wanted me to do because they didn't relay it to me. By the way, last night we we're talking about was the uh, addiction show that we uh, we did down at the stand. Looks like it may not even air uh, due to some things that were said. It was honestly one of the funniest shows I've ever been involved in. But uh, it may not make the air as of now because of some uh, controversy. And anybody who saw that show probably knows what the controversy is. Um, but, you know, our bold comedians, they say things and they wish they didn't say them. Yeah. We should only do every show live. <laughs> yeah. That's the only way <laughs> that we should uh, work. Um, and, you know, Vito had to make some things there. He did, you know, he had to make some last second changes and all that. So you think nothing uh, that you did wrong last night. If anything went wrong with me, it was not pointed out. Yeah, and no, no, they, you're uh, absolutely and they, right. And That's I wish fair. they had pointed they, them out. They pointed it out to me uh, because they wanted to tell you on the air. But then today, uh, Vito, you were you were really in an angry mood today. I and was, it wasn't all Earl. There was other circumstances. Yeah, there was other circumstances, but it was just built up at that point, And that was just the leading to frustration. I was in a good mood before that. You know, I, I was excited for what we I don't know, I didn't today. see you before. I only saw you when you were in a blind yeah. fucking rage. Yeah, you seemed pretty moody when we walked in. Yeah. I love you guys, though. Uh, So, who, which one of you guys want to tell the story of last night? I'll tell it. Okay. And I'll tell it calmly. Okay. So, uh, I'm sitting, I'm standing up. I'm helping just get, you know, everybody up to the panel, making sure everybody's together. Last night was your baby. Last night was my baby. I booked these people. I got them there. I met up with them outside. I'm walking them in. And then I notice um, a wait staff member bringing a chair 
into the comedy club mm-hmm. and I find out that Earl requested a chair from one of the employees to sit down. No, that is not true. I did not request a chair. Did you enjoy the your vantage point of the show? I I was th- I was content standing That's not outside. What I asked. Did you enjoy? The show was fantastic. Yeah. The show was unbelievably great. Wish it could run. Yeah, what the what said member of waste staff said was said I said member not, the the set the person who, well, are we protecting identity here somewhere <laughs> i don't know his name was it gary yeah. no Jeff. i don't know his name i was very happy just i was going to stand at the edge mm. float in take photos float out he said i could not stand there i'm going to put a chair here so you could sit here and then do what you need to do that's exactly what happened is that why all the shots were from the same angle no i went to i went to the middle i went i crawled underneath to underneath try to get what? shot under chairs no i crawled to the in the center i didn't see aisle. any of these shots were they good i couldn't tell it was very dark i haven't even looked at them yet i said well, i mean over. here's one of the Why things wouldn't... last night we put out pictures that was the time to put out the pictures i sent some over i don't know if she, they were used i don't know i can't check just check <sighs> then you'll know whether your work's making it or not but this idea that i asked for a chair that's just not true it's simple. Well, uh, uh, your point about him being on the chair is like Earl's lazy. Was that the point? Earl's of Earl's lazy and just wants to watch the show as opposed to work the show. Vito is working upstairs, dealing with uh, everyone part of the panel. I was dealing with engineering, um, and and then Earl. Well, Earl also had another job to hand you water as you went to the stage, and I had to remind Earl, please go yes, hand Ron his water. I, which By the I way, did. I, I am in those shows all the time. Photographers move around. I've never seen one sitting in a chair. Ever, I sat in the again. I was asked but, to stay out the way, and but I. You, and, did you tell him that you were the photographer? I told him it, he knew exactly. What, I said I'm from the show. I'm I mean, telling you, Jeff, who I've uh, put the handle on, DJ Jazzy Jeff. <laughs> oh, cool! Uh, not catching on anywhere. <laughs> I don't think a lot of people are like from my generation where we remember. Will Smith. You know what I mean? Yeah. Will yeah. Smith is completely forgotten. But you would say to him, I'm the photographer for the show. I said, I worked for the show. Um, and he said, I'm the photographer. Even... He doesn't know what you do for the show. But he, you know, he insisted on the chair. I know he insisted because he thought that you were yeah. a producer standing in the middle and, of the room. And I'm trying to respect the rules of the house. And. And I did. And I, did I know, but I let's could. say everyone has to sit down at a baseball game, and, but if someone's the umpire, they don't go and get in this. You know what I mean? They're part of it. Right. The photographer's part of it. You have to explain that to people. He probably thought you were a producer for the show, standing there watching, standing in front of people. Were you going no, to be but moving? I was, I was completely, you know, that little, little vestibule right before you walk in. Everyone was sat, and I sat at the edge, right next to um, Trying to stay out of the way. Well, okay, having a you... chair in the vestibule is not out yeah, of the way. That's bad. He that's a fire hazard. All right. Easy. Easy. What these guys are saying is they didn't feel like you were working. That's all they're saying. And sometimes, you know, that part of that is looking like someone who's ready to hop up and help out whenever yes. needed. Maybe that's that why was, they thought. That was the whole point of me standing there. Right. Exactly. And at one point. But you got tired and you asked for a I chair. Know, well, no, and at one point there was a. I was I hey dude, I sat down too. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. I sat through that whole show. Well, I saw you. And at one point there were a group of guys Hysterical. who were loud, and I stood up and I looked. I said, "Hey guys, we're recording the show. Yeah. Can you please keep I, it down?" I was told you had to be told to go tell them that. Look, here's the thing about producing: you always have to keep. Just it can't stop at one. Uh, this was Vito's baby last night. He was, was producing. Yeah. One of the comics walked up to me as we were heading to the stage, and he goes, eh, how's this even supposed to work? I wonder who said that. Comedy. <laughs> and, and Vito said to me, I have talked to him five times. I told him the premise of the show. But people are doing so that they don't always take it in. Right. You know that what I mean? true. And it all worked out best. He was hilarious. But you do, as a producer, have to... Remind people all the time. That's what I'm saying. There's no, you don't kind of hit that speed bump and then sit down and just sit for the rest of the show. I didn't sit for the rest of the show. I, 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 and to be completely clear, 
none of this was laid out to me beforehand. I what, whatever was asked of me, I did. They said, "Hey, go." Why don't go you get guys this? get together and say, "Can I tell you the only yeah. thing that makes me nervous about this?" Yeah, we've got a much bigger, much more complex show on Tuesday. Yes, none of the things from last year have been solved that they worried about going wrong. Yes, you know what I mean. I understand. Nothing is moved on that. So, and then we had that thing today that was supposed to run for an hour. It wasn't. This is hell gigs. We have a lot going on right now. But when but Earl's point is a good one. He's not included. Well, we met in the morning and let Earl know what his duties were going to be. And But we you were, said you knew nothing about it, Earl. We it was not laid out to me. Were you Who did you expect to lay it out? Um it was Vito's baby. And and, I, and to be completely honest, he did a fantastic job putting It's not even going to fucking air, dude. But how's that fantastic? Just so you know that from a producing point of view, to say that to me is like, is Earl play, paying attention? Like, oh, I, if I was a producer on the show that went as well as it did in the room, but it's not going to air, I'd be crushed. Not bragging about yeah, what a fantastic well, thing that happened. And again, I'm, I'm right at this particular moment. I thank you straight, and I apologize for that. that no, but <laughs> but I but I want to say that that's the kind of thing that that disconnects between all of us. But. But again, it was not outlined to me. And again, I took the attitude of... Well, how did he do such a great job if, if he didn't outline to you? You ended up sitting in a, I'm going to guess, no. a high chair. No, it was, it, was a, it was a regular chair. Okay, but, my fault. But again, I was told high chair. My, my, my approach to the whole evening was like, whatever they need, I will do. But you didn't. Yeah. Well, I, I would uh, say that if... If no one told you what to do, that would be a problem. But have you ever gone into a situation where you're like, hey, no one's told me what to do. Maybe I should take someone aside and go, what do I need to do? Well, I should have been more. That I will own up to. I was like, I should have been more pro. I was like, hey, what do you need me to do? Is there anything you need me to do? But there was a meeting or there wasn't a meeting? There was a meeting in the morning. And then we also, something else came up. So we had Earl running. Kids ran a couple of errands before the show. But he was there for the beginning of the show. To hand Ron water. What kind of errands do you have to run? I am pick something again? up for later. I'll just, I'll just write you a note. Is it? This is something that can't be said on the air. <laughs> so or just for something later. Horrifying. It what cannot be it, said on the air. What could it be? Is it personal? Yeah. Was <laughs> it, is it blue juice? <laughs> yeah. I need hard on. Is it potato skins? <laughs> they didn't have everything ready. <laughs> By the way, it's so funny to do a show about addiction in a bar. That was making me laugh all night. Something that wasn't for last night's show. No, that's it wasn't. the fucking problem, dude. But I, I didn't need him. I, in the time yes, between you did. The show, then, why, then if you don't need him, why is everyone bitching that he was sitting down? I didn't need him from the, from five o'clock till seven o'clock. Seven when seven o'clock started. That's when we officially when I actually. Oh, so what him time there. did he run his errand? Uh, five thirty. So when, when I was downstairs. asking about uh, what was he supposed to do, a thing that that had nothing to do with last night is a ridiculous thing to bring up. This is what I'm worried about Thanksgiving. And I got to have faith in everybody. I don't want to fucking let everybody down. But, you know, it is what it is. It seems like every day you guys are fighting with Earl. I like busting Earl's balls, but, you know, this is why he has to lie his way out of everything. I'm not lying. I'm just... Shh. Earl, I'm on your side. <laughs> I'm on your side. I'm saying you deserve to lie your way out of it. I would. In that position. I'm proud of you for lying. Hey, uh, Mickey in Brooklyn. Mickey, you're on Bennington. Thanks, guys. I was at the, the show last night, and I had such a great time. I was right next to Earl when he keeps taking pictures. But great time. Tim Dillon, so funny. So funny. All right. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Mickey. By the way, I have no problem with, you know... Sometimes things aren't for air. You know what I mean? Most things aren't for air. You go out and do them and it's like a fucking perfect night there. That's fine with me. Yeah. But again, I'm... I'm You've had it. 
I'm stupefied. I'm absolutely. You stupefied him, guys. <laughs> I is it he... fucking racism, Earl? Is that where these fuckers, or is it an anti-boomer thing that they're into? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's been happening a lot. It came up yesterday, and basically that was it. <laughs> but I was just told Robbie Robinson wants to uh, stop in again today. Robbie Robinson from the band. What am I going to say to him? Um, you're a boomer? You can't okay. say that to Robbie. You can't. You can't. The other thing is... Uh, Robbie did the last waltz, which basically we've yes based all of our Thanksgiving shows on. What do you think is a tougher show to pull off? The last waltz, uh, filmed by Martin Scorsese, mm -hmm. or our thing? Uh, well, considering our crew. <laughs> uh, hey, look who we've got on the line! It's Johnny Gogo. What's happening, buddy? Hey, hey. how's it going, Johnny? Everything's good. I wanted to see. I'm going to plan to get to the Hard Rock next week early. You want me to save a seat for Earl? Earl? No. Do not save a seat for me. Do you know what you're doing at the Hard Rock? Um, I have, They've outlined a couple of things. A number of things, but as far as behind-the-scenes stuff, we're still talking about that. Yes, behind-the-scenes stuff is producing. Yes. Your but, thing as a producer, I know you're coming out and saying hi, and that's two minutes but you're producing right yes now when we were putting together some of the things and everybody was teaming up you were the only one who didn't have a partner yeah i requested uh people to volunteer on specific things to work with me how many times did earl volunteer uh i don't think i don't think earl volunteered very eager not. chris stanley i think was first to raise his hand then i got veto I didn't get any other uh, volunteers from from Earl. Did you think that that maybe wasn't? I did. There was just things I didn't feel like I could. Mm, yeah. I would fit. You know, it wasn't a good fit. I didn't think it would be a good What's fit. That, I don't want to. And I don't want to fail. And the last thing I want to do is, is let the team down. I really don't. But want dude, to. you don't want to also be the guy who's afraid to have the ball hit to them. The no, aggressive I, and, guy but, wins. The aggressive would, guy wins the and, game. You know. It, haven't played ball the one thing you want is the ball always you want the ball but you just said you didn't want to let the team down by going for the ball here's what uh i worry about now is hell gigs gonna air yes what did i tell you about hell gigs what's i mean this is my favorite show that we do every year right yes so much fun what am i most looking forward to this year hell gigs seaton smith as long as we have seaton that's how i know we yeah. have a show we have got it earl i'm gonna put you on that is that one that you're ready for you want the ball can you uh, get a seat in? now I, look by the way the ball is in the air when you're that nervous you yeah. know what i mean mm -hmm. i mean take I don't, I don't know him personally uh, but i will make it happen i will try my best and do oh everything boy. possible. Don't oh you say make to, to try the best things a bad thing. That's basically lying to us, saying that. What you're are you trying to? Do? All I can do is try. All it's you can do yes is lie. No. It can, you it'll happen wrong. or it won't happen. You know what Yoda said. About that. <laughs> it is true. <laughs> there is no try. That's Yoda said that. Mm -hmm. It was either it'll, do it'll or either happen do. or won't happen. Well, that's, I'm going to do everything to make it happen. Yeah, but so. That's still not a guarantee. If anything, it's a it's a setup to not do it. Yeah, that's 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 I can essentially take a shit that in a is. box and slap a guarantee on it. <laughs> I don't want you to do that. We want audio of seat, not shits in boxes. If he's had this a fucking box of shits and say it's Seaton, that's I mean, it's a lie. I mean, I could look up a bull's ass right now. <laughs> but I don't know why. Earl could sell a ketchup <laughs> popsicle to a woman in white gloves. Could you imagine if Tom Brady said, I'm going to try my best to throw the ball? <laughs> I'm going to try as when hard he, as I can to throw when the he, ball. When he throws the ball, either he's going to catch it or he's not. That's all that could happen. You know, you know, I'm going to catch this audio or I'm not going to catch it. What? Capture it. What? Again, it just seems true. like a, a setup to fail as if there's no difference between success and failure. There's a giant difference. Earl, was it your responsibility to comb Chris's hair today? Because if so, you let the ball drop on that. What's wrong with my hair? Now, did you, good? did you, wait, in Earl's defense, did you say comb his hair or fuck his hair? Because <laughs> that is a well-humped 
head of hair. <laughs> By the way, Chris was also very schlubby last night as well. Was I? What's yeah, it was a schlubby night. Like, I don't know. Why is it when the <laughs> nightlife is when he dresses down? It's when normally everyone goes, oh, I'd like to look yeah. nice. He's uh, modeling Chandler Bing's <laughs> <laughs> new designs. Oh, wow. This hair looks fucking nuts. Yeah, I apologize, to everyone. This is more my more professional time of day. Either you comb your hair or you don't comb your hair. You know, you, no one knows what's going to happen. Either it it's happens only, or it doesn't. You're going to catch the hair comb or you're not. And then Earl says, "I just don't know what I'm going to be doing behind the scenes," which is a that's producing, and yet you haven't thought about it yet. No, we haven't we haven't collectively discussed it yet. Chris, and, how are you not discussing? This is our biggest show of the year. Yes. There's so many things running and you haven't discussed the thing with Earl yet? We've Earl's lying yet again. We have talked about Thanksgiving. Earl, please don't lie. I can't Earl, get to the bottom of it. Just things. If, if Okay. Earl, if, okay. Let's clear this up right now. Clear it. I'll, I'm going to say this on the air right now. What can I do to help? But see, we this is not the, the meeting end. time. Yeah, this Earl, is show time. You know one Earl, thing about the thing? Only to, it's but, the only place I can... Why can't you do it off the air? Why can't you guys have that discussion? Because somehow it disappears into the... One of the uh, I'm going to tell you this. Everything about the Thanksgiving show, we always do, whether it's a good idea or not, but we've always done surprises. That's what makes the yeah. Thanksgiving show uh, a thing. It's like a thankfulness to the listeners. You're coming out. Do you some people you're going to see, some people that you didn't expect to see? That's the fun thing. But if he's not on the air, you're not listening to him, Chris? Uh, no. See, if it's off the air or on the air, he's not listening. Just case in point. There's a there's a tablet in front of you that I uh, told him time and time again to fix, mm -hmm. to, to properly place. And right. he never did it uh, three or four times. And well, then, what about this thing that's four feet away yeah, from me? Yeah, that's yeah. Quite the wrong well, direction. But, but in my defense, I was starting to move everything up, and Vito said, "Don't touch anything. Because, it's fine." Because you were staring at it, you weren't fixing I was, it. <sighs> was that staring gonna fix at it? With it? Your I mind? So okay. So if I touch it, it's a problem. If I don't touch it, it's if a problem. If you stare at it, you guys are setting him up for failure. Exactly. It? No, no. Mm -hmm. Look, he was literally just staring. I was not staring. I was touching. You said, "Do not touch it. It's fine." He's listening to you. You said don't touch it's it. It's just frustrating that he called us the Leasty Boys. And I think the name is stuck. That's that's, that's the, happened. I'm yeah, worried they, about that. I don't want to be a, a Leasty Boy. A Leasty Boy would stare at a monitor and not touch it. It does sound like something a Leasty would do, but you told him not to is what he said after he stood there and stared when he at stood it. there and st i started to move it you said what, don't what move about it. The so laptop? i'm like you know what what's your you life already in a you mood already vito what's you can't have it both ways what's your life for the laptop what's my life with a what why wasn't the laptop set up because i was because chris sent me in the other room to look at something else chris you're I fucking everything up in. i came back in and and, I'll, and and in my defense, I forgot. I forgot to set it up. That is a Jesus defense. Christ. That's, that's, that's terrible. That's never no, the defense. I'll admit, rest. Again, I'm, not, I'm so not thinking straight right now. A Leasty Look, Boy is at a show, producing a show, and gets tired and asks for a chair. As I didn't get starts. In his defense, he didn't want to do it. But he wanted <laughs> to enjoy the show. He's a fan. And you did ways. enjoy the show, right? It was a great show. It was a Thanks, buddy. Show. It was a fantastic show. And again, I... Uh, I'm, I'm just I'm my I'm, my hands are shaking. I'm so upset right now. Why? Don't I, let it get to like that. Why would you? Why would you let him get in your kitchen like that? Caught in lies. Well, I'm not caught in lies. I'm. I'm on your side, Earl. He was just trying to figure it out. Which one of the Leasty Boys annoys you the most? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I mean, it, it, right? No, like I said, it, it, you get one, you get the other. No, you have to make a decision. Which just of us, the Leasty Boys? Which I guess that's our name. Which is the least of now. the Leasties. Yeah. So you would put yourself as most, then who's the next best? Vito or Chris? Vito. Yes. You're the Leasty. That is leasty. such fucking <laughs> bullshit. Can I, can I tell you why, Chris? Why? It's the way you dress at night. <laughs> You no one really respects it. Clothing no. should be a part of the Leasty Boy fucking uh, agenda. Look, Earl, you're a fucking liar. <laughs> you fucking are lazy. This is and crazy. I don't 
like this at all. all right. Can I just play? I, I just thought of a new game, right? We yeah. go out on Times Square yeah. and we grab tourists, tourists who don't know us. I get Chris and two other homeless guys. Why? I'm not homeless. And then I go, try to guess which one of these three is not homeless. Wow. I am not homeless. I know, but people should be able to tell on sight. And I don't think they're going yeah. to be able to. They should be able to tell on sight and smell, and yet you still would uh, confuse people. Uh, Zach in Houston. Hey, I feel like Earl and Vito should just hash it out like brothers and box it out and, you know, assert dominance and uh, see who's the real man there and, and stop fighting so much. Well, I mean, what fucking brothers box? <laughs> <laughs> Spinx Brothers is the only ones I can think of <laughs> offhand. And plus, Earl you would fuck up Vito. He would fucking destroy him in a fight. Yeah, I think Vito wow. would get fucked up. I mean look, I don't I don't like Earl, but I yeah. don't fuck Vito up. Are you fucking kidding me? No, dude. I work out two and a half hours a day. Working I, out ain't fighting, dude. I'm sorry. I take rumble classes with the girls from booking now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's something. That changes everything. Yeah. Sorry. Royal Rumble classes? Yeah, it's, it's boxing to today's hits. <laughs> Thursday mornings at 7. This sounds like so much fun. How long do you box for? It's. It, I just started doing it last week. Are you hitting the bag? Or you what hit are you doing? a bag. You do sit-ups. It's not... It's It's pretty... It's, a it's pretty, pretty. It's not the word that you pretty. want to box. <laughs> you're, you're, throwing, you're throwing hands in a bag to today's hits. Right. Liz cool. said fire found a picture of Earl just dropping a fly ball that was hit to him. Mm-hmm. That's pretty accurate. Yeah. See what team he plays for? But you'll never be royals. It don't run in our blood. Do you know that's where that song comes from? She saw a picture of George Brett. I had really? no idea. Yeah. It that's actually amazing. did. It actually did. She was like, there's a team called that. And then she sat down and wrote that. I had no idea. Uh, let's go to James. Jimmy. James James in Florida. Hey, Jamie. Yeah. yeah. Hey guys, hey Maddox. You What's know that? my favorite Leasty Boy song is? What's that? Sabotage. Oh yeah. That makes sense. yeah. Sabotaging. Yeah, it's not set up, is it? It's not mm -hmm. set up. There's ads. I wonder if there, isn't there anything that we could do better than YouTube? I mean, don't yeah, do we, we have, um, have access to music here? We do have access to music here, but the system that searches it is quite slow. Slower than this. Slower than that. I mean, this one didn't even run. Now it's way too late, dude. Yeah, That's the other thing seconds. about producing. You got to know when, like, oh, the moment has passed, you know? Yeah. Seems but like a leasty boy mistake. I'm really, uh, I'm looking forward to some of those sit down shots. Yeah. I just wish there wasn't so many heads obscuring the stage. <laughs> Earl, how many photos total do you think you took? You'll see when the book Shot Through Hats comes out. <laughs> Uh, maybe about two dozen. I don't know. Twenty-four. Yeah, I'm, why do you that's a go guess. for twenty-five? No. Why reason. would you guess? Why wouldn't you go and check your workout after? Or check it in real time. Like you take the picture, look at, it, <laughs> see what you got. Is that what you want? Don't count it now. We're over on the air. <laughs> trying to. What was number. your favorite part of last night? Um, Sit, sitting. Did no. you order any food? No. I got a little hungry. No, I, I didn't eat at all. Why didn't you tell me? They make nice pizzas there, like little little pizzas. No, I, I didn't think about it. I know the food's fantastic there. I didn't. I, I saw him eating a baked potato when he was sitting down. Yeah, that's what. Not eating a baked potato. <laughs> Chris did tell me that you were eating. I don't know who's telling the truth. I'm just I saying. I was Chris not eating less. Girls lying no, again. No, I. <laughs> Look, he didn't tell me about the chair, but he said. Wait till you hear what happened, and then he said, spoiler alert, he was eating a baked potato. I said, star cheese, add it again. I just wish you went, I know. I don't what, know who to believe on that one. Don't believe me, because Earl's the liar. Well, <laughs> I know that you like starches, but it seems unlikely that he would have ordered a baked potato. He was hungry. That. He only eats potatoes and sides. It fucking happens. Yeah, I... Or, uh... I usually order sides, yes, but I did not order food at all last night. Not at all. I wish you did. No, I wasn't. I wasn't hungry. 
I hear the food's amazing. The yeah. food is amazing. How come you never sit down at the Hard Rock, though? Do you like that job better? Both. I love both jobs. This is my, you know, you saw my first love. And hard Rock has been very good to me as well. Second love, in many ways. Hard Rock. You feel like you're in a thruple? <laughs> That's true. You are in a work thruple. Yeah, those uh, the the tugs. But I'd like to see the least you boys as the work thruple. The three of you getting along so well I, that people I, think that you are in love. I want that, but it's hard when one Ew. of the least you boys is lying to the other two least you boys all the time. <laughs> so you admit, you admit you're one of them. Well, that's our name now. Tough day for you, huh, Vito? Yeah. She got kicked in the dick today by Earl. We kicked in. <sighs> uh, everything's my fault. Uh, I, I, I really... Do you think he blames you unnecessarily? He takes blames you for up. his own fucking incompetence? No, I, mean, I, I seem to be getting blamed everything for, except for the death of Disco. I honestly think it's still around. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not as big as it used to be, but I still hear Disco yeah. songs. Still good. I always say the Susu Studio was a disco song, and that Seems was like it, right? number one song in the late 80s. I mean, when people think of the late 80s, they think of Susu Studio. Mm -hmm. I you do. Know? It would have been so much easier just to say Susu Studio 57. <laughs> what is studio, by the way? Like what, what? It's um, when a man and woman love each other. He said it was just amazing. Hey, Tom in Tennessee. You're on Bennington. Yeah. Hey, Bennington's. I love you guys. Um, I'm wondering if there is a separate Earl, if there is a cloned Earl, and there's no way these stories could be this opposite. There's absolutely no way. Is there another Earl? Well, what, what, are, you, what are you trying to say this opposite? What are the two Earls that you speak of? Well, the, well, well I mean, our Earl has got a story that is completely different, a point of view that is completely different than Centaur. I, I, Not I, really. I, I, it seems I, I, like they're saying the same exact things. It just me, uh, Earl just thinks he has uh, he's in the right. Right. The way he acted, he's act like there's no other way to be. Yeah, you know? that's the problem. It's two different points of view of the same thing that happened. And there was no other way to be. It was just the way it was. You tell the guy, hey, I'm working for the show. I'm not sitting down. I have to take pictures. That's it. That's not being a dick. That's saying I'm doing my job. And that's it. You got pushed around. Yeah, well, I'm respecting, like, it's someone else's house, and I'm respecting the rules of but, that house. But where at the show inside the house that the people are coming to the house to see? How many other photographers were there? One. Who? Um, uh, Deb was taking photos. Was she sitting in a chair all night? She was right behind me. Sitting in a chair? Um, I couldn't. It was so damn dark. In it was day. so dark you can't tell if someone's standing or sitting in there the chair. There was residual light from the we stage. We know that she what wasn't. Is this cave that you <laughs> did a show in. <laughs> this is the second the time I've heard of this black pitch, hole. <laughs> pitch black. That <laughs> light gets sucked into. <laughs> it was very dark in there. We know that she wasn't sitting. Nobody ever sits at a show when they're taking pictures. That's all. You'd have an obscured shot normally. Was Chris sitting? Was Vito I, sitting? I didn't even. I didn't even know where they were. I was in the. You know where I was. I was in the booth with the engineer. <laughs> you, there was a no. bunch of fucking engineering problems before the show. I that bet. I was helping you with. could have been. Anywhere. I didn't know, but I didn't know where it was situated. You and were. I in saw the you. Room in, with I, the only me. time I saw you was in the kitchen. Oh, oh fucking oh, eating, fat boy! Look at that. <laughs> that shaming son of a bitch. I ate nothing <laughs> last night. <laughs> All right, this came in from us. Um. That Earl has liarrhea. It's supposed to be di diarrhea, so it would be liarrhea. Liarrhea, right. okay. And then it says hashtag thank you family guy. Oh, I guess he stole it from there. Gotcha. You should have read the hashtag first. Damn it. Before I struggled <laughs> with this. Butch says, is this an extension from Monday's Earl situation? Something between Earl and the guy seems to have fallen off. Yeah. What do you think the inciting incident was here? What what changed between you and these guys? 
I just, I don't know where the disconnect happened. I don't know if there the disconnect was just never addressed. I don't know. I I wish I knew. Well, All I know is I'm trying. I'm. Would your life be better if they were both dead? <laughs> is that what you want? You want me dead? I don't. A bloated oh my corpse. God. Is that what you want? How would we know? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, this is be the laugh, is <laughs> oh, that former fat fuck! <laughs> what were you doing in the kitchen, Chris? Seems the like you were in the kitchen all night. <laughs> you have to walk through the kitchen to get to the fucking. Did I get to run down there with a check and try to fucking find out what kind of damage you did? But don't you think it is a little strange though that you didn't know where the crew was? Like you were also you're eating on off people's plates, <laughs> Earl. <laughs> No more chairs for I'm Earl. I'm craving a baked potato right now. I mean, all this baked potato talk. They got good fries, too. Fully loaded? I heard it was fully loaded. Didn't see it. Didn't actually have eyes on it. <laughs> but I saw I, I saw the kitchen staff going, someone just ordered a baked potato, and that's it. Because I was next to the kitchen. That is true. I was bringing Chris some water during the show, being a team player. All right. Sam Miguel writes this. Screw Vito. Fucking little <laughs> instigator. As bad as Sam Roberts when he was on... When O and A interned, well, I didn't know that Sam started as an intern. I thought he started as a producer. Yeah, he was an intern. Wow, he really moved Man, up the I, ranks. Yeah, that kid took off like a shot. Yeah, I don't know, Earl. No, I'll, I'll say this when I'll say to my whole team, I am so nervous about you guys Tuesday night. Yeah, I feel like the pooch is going to get screwed. Look, I think we got the fucking heebie-jeebies out of us, and uh, we're going to fucking come together on Tuesday night. Yeah, Tuesday night, you're probably going to send the guys out to do something for the Thursday show. I'm not. Everything will be focused on Tuesday. Got to have focus. You had all morning today to get that other stuff. By the way, your thing is pulling your eyelid down. It's fucking freaking me I out. I hate when he does that, that punch-drunk fighter look. Uh, hey, John in Long Island. Yeah, you know, Earl is just reverting back to his old douchey ways. There was a honeymoon period, but he went right back. Because I remember the old Ron and Fez show, the day... Earl left. Ron was ecstatic. It was like the greatest day. It's on YouTube. It's hysterical. That's just not true. He just went right back to the old ways. I don't think. You mean that Earl left the show? I was happy? Can't ever even imagine it. No, that can't be. You're exact opposite. Thank you, Earl. I mean, I'd rather, like you, I'd rather Vito and Chris got killed than what? for you to even have a bad oh day. No, I'd rather both Earl. these guys got hit by a train Jesus. rather than you Same not time. get the baby. Baked potato you ordered. <laughs> hey, Jim in Boston. I'm going to end up with liaria <laughs> by the end of this. <laughs> Jim. Hey, am I on? Yeah, you I don't are. know. Are we saying that correctly, Jim? <laughs> yeah, it's Jim. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I, you know, I listen all the time, but I'm, I don't know if I missed a day or two or what, but I just turned on today and I hear the Leasty Boys. Whoever came up with that term, besides Ron and Gail, and I hear the Leasty Boys. That is like the uh, Nobel Prize of comedy. That is a great term. Oh, that was yours, on. wasn't it, Earl? That was you. Uh, that was said in anger, yes. And uh, uh, When did you say it in anger? Uh, uh, How did you come up with it? Uh, it was just something that came out of my Who mind. did you say it to? I just said it out loud. But, to who? I just, just but, said it in exasperation. Who heard you say it? Uh, I don't know if you heard it or I don't know. Like I said, when I'm angry, I'm... I, can Just I ask you something, Earl? Are you lying right now? Is this 100% true, what you were saying? You were angry and you said that. Well, Jesus is listening to you, Earl. Tell your lie to Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> when did you it's say okay it? to lie. It, 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 when, you, when all you do is lie, that's a problem. I don't think so. When everything so is a lie lies are and okay? you're lying to the, your team, that's a fucking problem. All right. Let's, all right. You remember you and I were talking about tramp stamps? Yeah, yeah. Would this be wrong that at Thanksgiving we get Earl a Trump stamp? And because the beauty of you is you, whatever you say, you believe it. And that makes a certain percentage of the audience believe it. Trump stamp. Would you get that? Would you get right a Trump above stamp? your ass? Got it. Would I get a Trump stamp uh, above my ass? Oh my ass god! And I, you're repeating. No. Now, just, <laughs> I hate that. Man. Let's move on. Swear to Jesus, you came up with that name, and then we can move on. Are you ready, Chris? Yeah, I'm ready. To Vito, hear the swear. are you ready to oh. drop this? 
If Vito, Thank if you. you hear it, he said yes. Yeah. All right. Go ahead, Earl. You were angry. You yelled it out. Go ahead. Do it. Listen up, Jesus. I did not say it. Oh. Fucking liar. I've been saying it all week because it's just come to a head. Yet another fucking thing he lied about. This is an interesting one Cam came up with. He said maybe if Earl would let Chris and Vito nut on his feet in the shower, it would be like hitting the reset button okay. in their relationship. Let's reset. Get those feet out. I'll jack. We'll blue chew up. <laughs> I don't even need a Bluetooth to get hard for Earl's feet. Wow. <laughs> that was a little. Well, I mean, I think now you guys have no excuse to call him a liar because you'll always know that he can't lie to Jesus. So there's always a tell. All you got to do is say, yeah, say I mean, it to Jesus. So now, you know, liar or not, you know that uh, he's got to be. You know what uh, church that. Earl's in that? He's in that Kanye church. You are? Yeah, he's all part of that right now. That's cool. Interesting. Do you the like Sunday, the album? The, the Sunday. To be not lying, I really enjoyed the album. Of course you're there in was, the church. Was, there was, like, what is it, five tracks, six tracks, or whatever it is. Eleven. Half of them are outstanding. The mm. other two are okay, but mm -hmm. as an album as a whole, is, it's, it's really good for him Jesus. trying gospel for a first yeah. time. Yeah. For the That's first. when you join the church. Good for you. Um, that food didn't look good, though, that they were serving for 55 bucks. Did no. you see that? Oh, yeah, this is fucking awful. <laughs> Did you see it? No, I didn't. They were selling a $55 brunch oh. at the thing that he was doing. And it was gross? Uh, yeah, I mean, where do you say it? It went around. Yeah, there it is. Over oh, on the right. To the right. Over to on the right. right. Oh my God! That's fifty five dollars. Fifty five bucks. That yeah. looks like a like a cold McDonald's breakfast. No, oh, I need it right now. <laughs> Fucking starving. <laughs> Wish you uh, saved some of that baked potato. Uh, hey, John, Nassau County. Hey, didn't want to be John from Long Island the second time. It's uh, Earl. Are you going to tender your resignation now? Never. If you've just admitted that you've been lying for about a week. I mean, Earl's not a quitter, are you? Earl? Uh, but well, 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 all right. See, I've owned up to that, 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 and only that. And quitting is a hard habit to break. And what? <laughs> no, it's it's no. But when you quit, you you tend to quit all the time on anything. Right. You know what I mean? I, I, again, I'm not making any sense. But no, the last time you were with us, you quit. It took you nine years to get back in the business. Yes. And and that was the first that was the first job I've ever quit. And let's face something, Earl. In another nine years, you're going to be dead. I plan on being alive for a long time. But natural causes, you're yeah. elderly. I mean, yeah, it's you're not old as fuck. Something bad. I'm on that 130 year plan. Wow, it's not possible, Earl. I believe him. He tells the truth. He's a liar. He doesn't lie in the eyes of God. Oh, you know how we were talking about Carrie yesterday? Mm-hmm. I found out last night, you know, his pop, his father passed away. Oh, that's I know, I'm so, so sad. sad about it. That's heartbreaking. I know. Giannis has put up some nice things, too. So sorry to hear that. That's really mm -hmm. sad. You're so lucky you have your dad. I know. Yeah. Me, Vito, Chris, don't. I know. Can I just say something? Fatherless. Cherish him. I will. Cherish is the word you should describe. We did that song, girl. Um, that surprises me. You don't know that. What is it, the association? You do know it. You just didn't have the confidence no, to I do it. I, I, you do know that it. That was a guess. And I, I'm not a big fan of the band. Why? Why I, judge? You fucking love Kanye and look what he's done. <laughs> Jack no, and not, Dick. I'm not judging. I'm just... Pretty sure they're a great band. It's not so Kanye. Oh, I guess I just... What does this association have to be fucking married to Kim Kardashian before you'll give him the time of day? <laughs> Wouldn't hurt. I'm hitting this with Kanye, and this is one of the hit. Let me ask you this: Was the association in the last waltz? No. This would have been an odd moment, wouldn't it? <laughs> Hey, Pierre, Virginia Beach. Buddies, how you doing? Hey, How's it going? 
I just want to say, like, I was getting shitted on a lot lately, Shit. but uh, I won the pretty good prize closet, and, like, they told me Vito was going to call, and they messed it up, and I got in contact with Vito, and he was like, we're ending the show, I'll call you, uh, someone, he's like, I'll call you, someone will call you. Oh, Douglas called me, I was stoked, and then two days later, I got a package from Chris Stanley with a Doug Stanhope signed book. So they all came together on shit like that. But y'all's interns, sometimes they suck, man. Pierre, it can't Please. all be about you, yeah, all right? right? This can't <laughs> all be about you. It's not like, oh, is Pierre happy today? Right. What does Pierre want? He didn't uh, grab a chair in the middle of your show. Or he didn't grab a Pierre in the middle of your show. <laughs> you <know? laughs> Vito, you started this show very angry today. I feel like you took it off on earl and it kind of pulled chris into it mm -hmm. he even yelled at you today remember when you tried to keep saying something nice to him yeah i was trying on a rare instance of me trying to be supportive yeah uh, i was just yelled at so guess what no more Vito was in charge of two projects and this was a big thing for him um he had the one flew over the comedy club might have been one of the greatest live shows I've ever been a part of as, from a panel show point of view. And then Hell Gigs, which we love doing every year, mm -hmm. both of them kind of flatlined today. Yeah. At the same and time. it looks like they're both canceled. No. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, bro, but, uh, you know, they have to be done in a timely fashion. We still have time to record hell gigs you have time to record i gotta to do all these other things i told you guys today i'm on a tight fucking thing here today there were un there was issues with um our fucking um zeta machine that j messed everything up something that's never happened before i thought that was pronounced zeta it is who would say zeta <laughs> what is that in the grec alphabet <laughs> let's start and fucking mispronounce every word now <laughs> should we do that ear douglas <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to understand what you're talking about here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. These two fucks, we'd all be better off if they were stone cold dead. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I, I just for my own you know self preservation. Yes. You know how we'll have a good show, Earl? In the back of these two corpses. That's how we'll fucking build our kingdom. From that point on, <laughs> murdering us isn't going to yeah. solve a lot of problems. Maybe Earl's some. Point out something to me that seems to be the biggest fucking problem, not only in this show but in this country, and that's whitey. Mm. Mm, I am white. The whites, particularly those white males. Oh, I'm just yeah. trying to start that because sure. at least I can. White male me. boomers, <laughs> isn't that the problem? Mm -hmm. I remember when we were called the Greatest Generation during That's the fucking you. Yeah, it was during the Steel Wheels tour. <laughs> oh yeah, let's see that fucking generation try to pull off that major fucking tour with the Rolling Stones. <laughs> they didn't have one during the war. <laughs> Name one good rock band during World War II. Can't fucking think of any. Those no. guys were jacking off the Benny Goodman. <laughs> 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 oh, where are you going tonight? See a clarinet player. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to stop at the store, get a knife, and shove it into my fucking neck. No wonder Hitler ran all over the fucking country. No. He didn't have anything to rock out to. <laughs> Music could have solved it all. No kidding. No kidding. Hey, Mike in Buffalo. Good afternoon, Benningtons. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't a fan write a very nice and beautiful song about Earl being a lazy bum, a genuine lazy bum? First of I all, I think that song is more apropos today than any day before. The interesting thing is that you would say Fan was one of the greatest rock stars of all time, Brother Joe. Mm -hmm, it was. Brother Joe Cumia. Yeah. He wrote that song for Earl. And it's um, it's one of my favorites because it's a story song. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I like it's, those. It takes you on a tale. Yeah. It teaches you a lot. Right. Do we know anything about Robbie? Uh, waiting to get a text, but he's, he's, on, he's on route. Route or route? An N or on? Yeah. On? What are you fucking talking about, Chris? On route? On route or en route? Pick it. On route. Ooh. I don't know. I don't get it right now. I'll tell you this. Don't ever turn your back on Earl Douglas. I wouldn't. I definitely wouldn't. No. I know that now.
Hey, Brian. Brian in New York. Hey, Bankton. What's going on? How's it going? I want to ask Earl. <clears throat> I called back in February because I wanted to hook Gail up and the rest of the Benningtons with tickets to a her show. Because I know, girl, uh, Gail, you mentioned you liked her. Right. And w- when I called in, I was hoping for Vito or Chris because, you know, I know they relay the message. But I got Earl. I told him to make sure you tell Gail, all the rest of the Benningtons, just say the word. I'll give you the four tickets, the whole, like, very nice treatment. I, I had an opportunity to do that. I really want to know if he ever even mentioned it to you. This is the first time I'm ever hearing No, about. I had no idea. Earl, Earl, do you re- even on, remember dude. this? I, I remember it. I, I thought I relayed this information relayed to you. Relayed this how? So I, I verbalized it. I had told Gail about it. and I don't None remember. of us have heard of this. Yeah, I, Chris, no. Chris or Jill? No. Vito? And that's just a text message to Gail. No, and I like her, so I would have remembered. So you're saying the four of us have amnesia. I'm saying I relayed the information. I'm not saying that whether or not... You literally you... didn't tell any of us. I, I told Earl, I I, you. I'm telling you, I You're saying them. I thought I did, but four of us don't remember hearing this. I remember specific... I clearly I remember specific... Specific where? This. If you remember specifically. Specifically speaking with Gail about it. So it was Gail. So it was me. I so forgot it. He didn't Gail's, tell me? Gail's alive. I didn't tell you. Why? When he offered it to the Benningtons. I, she said, so I, thought he mentioned, I thought he mentioned Gail. Well, he did mention Gail, but he, he was, had tickets for really all the Benningtons. Fan. He had four tickets. There's four of us. Mm-hmm. Wow. I guess I'm lying. I guess you're a wow. dirty fucking liar. Brian, can I tell you I'm not lying, and I'm glad that you called, so I found out about the show. And knowing yeah, the way that uh, time, I gotcha. he feels about you, that you're a liar. Uh, wow. A lot of truth came out. It's not just white males. It's white females it's white. as well. It's, it's me. Or cracker bitches. Like a uh, old Becky with the good hair over here. I don't know what that means. I don't know. It's Beyonce called the white lady that. Who's I, Beyonce? <laughs> Isn't her name Beyond? Beyond say. Mm-hmm. Beyonce. I didn't know you and Earl hung out so much that he could forget <laughs> conversations you had together. I can't believe you. So you're saying I'm lying? Maybe it was hard I'm... for you to hear because he was sitting down at the time. I definitely didn't know about having free tickets, too. Now, here's... Okay. He sections off the one person. Right. And then tells the other people, here's your liar. Yeah. That's what's happening. So I got picked this time. I'm I'm the one? You, you were the fan of the band. Oh, the band. Of the, of the musician. We all are. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. I... I... But even was really so, like the information he was like mentioned to Gail, which I did. I thought I did. Oh, oh. why didn't you text or email follow up? Why would you just yell it down the hall, or probably <laughs> yelled it in the ladies' room when she was sitting in there? That's my his assumption because he thought I was on the rag. He said, <laughs> "Really, Earl? That's fucking crossing a line." Oh. What happens when we assume, Earl? We can ask out of you and me. Oh. Not me. <laughs> I'm searching my texts yeah. and emails for anything about her, and no, I don't I, have I it. didn't send the text. I thought we had a... It would be easier not to have a fucking trail, right? No, it cover been, up. Yes, mm-hmm. but I, I thought Was a there one-on-one, a, you know, a, an actual verbal exchange But this, this exchange you described did not happen. I, on Jesus. Happen. On Jesus, did it happen? Yes, it did. Oh! oh shit! So it looks like I'm the liar. 100% it happened, Jesus. 100%? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. You know what? I'm actually happy because I know I'm not going to burn in Hades. I might feel bad in heaven knowing that <laughs> Earl's burning. <laughs> <laughs> they say that it, you, they make it okay. Like you're like, uh, like, uh, where's your friend Earl? He's burning right now. <laughs> oh, when's he get out? Never. Oh, but I'm good. I just have a few problems with this story. Now let me just say it to you guys. I just don't see a world where Earl sections off Gail privately somewhere. That's a good point. We don't have. <laughs> a when lot have of you guys privacy. ever been alone together? No, we were. We were everywhere. in this room. Alone. We had the conversation. Where were we, the rest of us? I don't know where the rest of you were, but I, I That's mentioned it. That's not possible that Earl and Gail are in this it. room without any other other. other I Earl. try to make sure that I'm never alone with a man. Sure. 
I Smart. always have a buddy system. What about I, that time that you asked him to come in and bust up your chip roll? <laughs> <laughs> I never forget that, by the way. It stays with me all the time. <laughs> no word yet. Is it I'm happening in communication. for sure? Yeah, I was told it's happening for sure. When we just break then? And yeah, when we, we just... come back from break, we'll bring them in. Bennington Show. I'm going to be out with the Creeps uh, east in Pennsylvania this Friday night. Um, I understand this theater has turkey legs, too. Oh, good. I uh, made that up. Uh, let me just uh, thank you for the coffee, Thanks. Earl. So appreciate nice. it. And uh, Robbie Robertson, how crazy is that? Is that cool? Just stop it in. Just yeah. happen to be around. Stopped in. Really surreal. He's like, I don't know what to, uh, left to talk about. He says as he's coming in, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? About the <laughs> yeah. fact that you had the most talented band in history. Right. Is there a, a, literally, and I'm even including the Beatles, which Gail called overrated yesterday. But is there anybody with as much talent, like musical talent, as that band? The no. fact that they have three singers. Any yeah. of any of the three, lead but everybody singers. was a master of multiple yeah. Yeah. instruments too. And then on top of that, just like unreal songwriting, unreal, unreal songwriting, uh, unreal playing. Uh, I always like, go ahead. I always think of like uh, a song like Rag Mama, Rag Mama, Rag. Just They're take all your playing. time. They're all. They basically all switch. But well, yeah. they did that all the time. They would switch mm -hmm. instruments, like we do on this show. Like sometimes Vito will be over there, and Chris will be there, and then the next day Vito's back over there, and Chris yeah, is back just over still there. Here. You know, but I will say this, uh, Earl. He asked me, he goes, "Does Earl really lie that much?" And I go, "Robbie, he he lies even more than we said." <laughs> yeah, and that impressed him. I mean, I like, just I found that out. For the first time, yeah. definitively. Oh, when you found when, out that you were the veto yes, in the story? I was the veto. And normally I go, hey, veto, I, I get what you're saying, but we there's no way for us to know the truth. Yeah. Here's a circumstance in which I know the truth, and I'm looking at you guys like, you got to believe me, guys. <laughs> you believe me, right? You know that our old lies. It Ma makes you feel crazy. Bennington. Bennington. Every time we come back from break, I want to say I'm really bored with the bumper music. Yeah. Need I think fresh, we need freshies. to go in a whole new way. I'm bored with the voice tracking that we have, too. You know what I mean? I feel like that's spent, that's burnt. It never should be me, is the one who says it, though. Because yeah. that, that means no one else has cared up to now. Could you send Vito the Vitz in? Yeah, I'll grab him in a sec. What do you mean you'll grab him in a sec? He's not in here right now. Where is he? I don't know. That's what I got to find out. Why is he talking what, like what a robot? <laughs> you're oh, you're in there with him. I forgot to tell you. Uh, I diagnosed Earl with autism. <laughs> so he doesn't show, you know, he doesn't show emotions in the same way that you do. He's, you know, He's he not looks in right at, now. Yeah, he looks at the world a little differently. <laughs> uh, there is a... Uh, there's a thing out that Dean Martin's daughter is furious that are you familiar with a guy named John Legend? Mm, well, yeah. he has recut <laughs> the uh, Christmas song called Baby It's Cold Outside. Oh, yes. The and rapey one. Not anymore. Not thanks to Mr. Legend. Oh, really? He's okay. taken the rape out of it. Reimagining? Yeah. Now, Dean Martin's daughter is furious and she went on you know, television to talk about it. The funny thing is Dean Martin didn't write this song. No, he just I, sang it. I wouldn't be <laughs> upset about something. And it's one of my favorite songs. I mean, it's the... Yeah. I it's really a, can't say I'm going to rape your ass. Please don't rape me. <laughs> it's too late. I'm raping you. <laughs> and tonight for a rape. <laughs> and then a... Cut your head off and bury it in the yard. I really don't want to be raped. <laughs> your pills are kicking in. I said I don't want to be raped. Looks like she's passed out. Vita, run in here, please. 
I'm gonna rape Vito. Oh, I forgot. Well, I'm to- fine with that. <laughs> I rape a bunch of guys. <laughs> Vito, Earl said, and he said this with zero emotion, <laughs> that you were never in the studio. Where were you? Like, uh, I was Vito walking out casually here. to take a photo because Earl is not good at taking photos of guests. <laughs> So I walked out to take. Does a- Cashmere need a photo every week? I like. To He's get part of the. Sh- By the way, I saw you looking at at Robbie today, right? I'm like, oh, this reminds me how you were looking at at, um, at Iggy. Iggy. So I'm turning around to Chris. I'm going like this, and then oh. he just waves back at me. <laughs> you went like but this. But why that meow, one day meow. did you take a great photo and then you never thought of it again? Uh, I've tried to take some more. They haven't come out as well. So what? You I know, a fucking I- Earl quitter. All you need is one. It's Just- time for you to get raped. <laughs> Ooh. Rape some sense to you. <laughs> so he's changed it where literally the guy said, I'll give you a ride home. Um, where are they? This is baby. It's bad out there. I think they should rejoice. Say what's in this drink. If I have one more drink, then it's her idea right. that she's over drinking. No cabs to be had out there. It's your body and your choice. <laughs> no, he doesn't he say that. He says that in the fucking... No, he doesn't say that. That's not a Christmassy <laughs> song. No. I, you know what? I'm going to be honest. I, I don't think I want anyone saying that in a... <laughs> it's a your session. body, your choice. Please don't bring that up. <laughs> You're ruining the mood. <laughs> Uh, oh, I came right down my leg. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. John Legend and his wife have overstayed their welcome. Yeah, I don't even watch Lip Sync Battle anymore, and it's all because of her. Why would anyone watch <laughs> Lip Sync Battle even yeah. once? I'd rather take a fucking rope, tie it around my neck, and hop out the window. I'm not going to lie. When I first uh, Finally. I discovered... <laughs> Listen. You lied to Earl. Yeah, you that lied to Earl a lot. We could all went to her. Vito. I'm Vito back on Earl's side. Pain, okay? I was just saying. It's a very uncomfortable thing. You feel crazy. Yeah. Because yeah. he tried to turn you all against me. And Earl, you and I are going to look at each other and we know who's telling the truth, but they <laughs> don't know. And we both know it, it's me. No, it's not. <laughs> Why the fucking that? creepy whisper? <laughs> There's your rapist. <laughs> Earl's rape before. <laughs> <laughs> Uh yeah, this fucking John Legend thing. I'm done with it. I always say it is. What's his, his biggest hit song? What is his <laughs> song? Come his on, La La Land. Uh, his, Baby, uh, his song is uh, "Ordinary People" and We're all just of you. ordinary people. Not that one. John Legend's middle of the road garbage. All of all of. <laughs> I'm gonna I don't know say if this. All of you I all of enjoyed his wife for a few moments, and then I think she got too bold with it. Yeah. She tried to make too much out of her short-lived modeling career. No, it's the opposite. She was like, guys, I used to be a model. Isn't that funny? And you're like, oh, that is funny. And then she's like, I'll never stop being funny. Oh, is she Hawaiian? What's her deal? She's um, she's Norwegian, and I want to say Thailand. I, <laughs> Thailand. <laughs> I want to By say way, Thai. Can I just I... say something? Don't bother me with the fucking Norwegian. Where is she from? What's Wait. her dilly? What's the background? Yeah. Thai, Norwegian, she's from Utah. For, uh, do you not have to waste our time saying fucking Norwegian? There's nothing she, interesting about that. It's Thai. She's it's, half Thai. Yeah. She's a Thai But stick. wasn't she also, she lived in Hawaii? Yeah. Or no? She did. So she's not So why are Hawaiian. we bringing up Utah every fucking minute? Are we supposed to believe she's one of those Mormons that got killed down in fucking Mexico? No. Hey, you don't want, you want to do something, you have little children, stay safe with them. Don't go around trying to save souls. Yeah. Can I just ask you this? Who will save your soul? Yeah. You know? When it comes to the flowers now.